Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I had a little opportunity to uh, work on a car today. I actually thought I had a tattoo today, but the client never showed up. So, car day. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this here today, I kind of want to a quick little video. I kind of want to test fit uh, these rims. These are what are these? Cause I always forget. Hold on, we can't see. These are okay. These are actually, see if I can focus on it. Okay. These are 245, 45, 18s. Which is almost the same size, if not the same size over here. Uh, okay. Let's try to focus on this. So these are two 25, 45-18s, which is almost the same size. It is the width of the tire is a little different. Um, but I um, want to test fit that on this car to see exactly how these will fit. The tires on this car, when I first got it, the stock tires were actually, they were 17s. So we actually I actually went up a whole size difference on this one but the stock ones on that car is actually the same size as these so i'm not really going up and as you can see we got a lowered the fitment is nice and tucked right here um i like that, that look right here you could barely probably get my pinky finger in there that's how tight it is but um you can see this car has been sitting Longer than I wanted it to sit. Longer than I wanted it to sit. And I kind of want to get these tires off of here so we can treat them better. <laughs> Let them just sit here in this rot, basically. Um, I got new tires for these. I'm not worried about the tires themselves, more so the wheels. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. So um, let's kind of get started. So. Got my jack here. Um, oh, got some new parts. We'll get to that in another video. But, got my jack here. And, no surprise, we did get the, we did get the garage. And we'll, I might, be go, I might go past there today, by the way. So we might get a chance to see that today. Okay. Alright, I actually decided that I'm actually going to take the front tire. I'm going to take it around and try to get air in it. So, but since the front is so low, the best way to do it was to jack up the back a little bit, get a jack under here, and then jack the front of it. So, but I can't get my hydraulic jacks in there. At least that one. That's my little rider jack. So I get it out. So I actually got the stock jack and that, that can press the silk in. I can get it under the car. Once I get about a half a foot up, then we can throw the jack up, jack it up, and then go away. So, a little, oh, this Oh, I would create you my angel.
I had to come back to the next day. I just had to come back and um, could have started raining. So, so it's the next day, and I decided to take the first tire off because I was flat. If we could put some air in it and see if I see any tire in the front, or um, I'll be good. But as you see, um, I didn't have my jack stand, so I just used multiple jacks to jack it up. It was slow in the front. I had to kind of jack the back up and then jack the front up. But we took it off now, and everybody will put some air in the tire, and, um, and just see what we got. So. All right, so we're going to uh, take this tire out, throw it up here, and uh, see, if we, see if the air gets into it. All right. So, then we're gonna head back to the to the back of my mom house now. Uh, back to my mom house now. We kind of test fit the tire and to take a look at what's going on in the car. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not it's nothing drastic. The tire like it's holding air. Um, at least there ain't no fast leaks, which is good. That means we can actually get somewhere, watch the tires on the car, and go get another tire. Um, I'm not going to put the tires on the car yet, even if they do look good with the test fit. Um, I just want to test fit it um, and see what we actually do so I can get better ideas of what we're going to do with the car. So, let's get to it. Alright, so we're back. So I ended up putting the tire back on. What happened was is that it's a little knob or actually on the rotor um, that kind of stopped me putting like rims on the car that don't belong on it. <laughs> At least the manufacturer rims. So even though these are going good, that little knob is stopping me for putting don't rubs on it. So I actually have calibers, I'll show y'all guys. 
they pre wrote it, rotted. I mean, here, rotted. <laughs> rusted, sorry. <laughs> They're really rusted from sitting here for so long, but it's probably the surface rust. Um, so I'm actually going to take these off. I didn't bring my set of tools, my ratchets. I could have did that today. I'm actually going to take them off and swap them for those. Um, and then um, that way, I can put them rims onto that car. Um, from what I put it in the wheel well, it looks like it will fit pretty good. Um, it might lift up the car as a, maybe like a quarter of an inch um, and that might not be too bad but um, first, first, first thing first we gotta change the rotors unfortunately so we have to pause this for now and come back to it so um, we'll finish this another day um, it's getting late like it might start raining again I don't want to be out here when it starts pouring um, so we gotta do that uh, we still have to change the headlights. That's going to be a project we got to do. And um, the seat, the passenger seat out this car, because this one is pretty much beat up. Take it off. The cold air take filter, I want to take off this car. And this wing, right? So, and take the headlights out, um, which I'll probably do that next time I come. Take these head, take these uh, tail lights off, so we can do the project. But making them the skyline style headlights. So a few things left to do, not too too much, but enough. Um, and, uh, <laughs> so that's it for now. We we'll return and we'll be back at it. Stay tuned, uh, we'll return and check back.